Hi everyone, we're off on another trip today. So where are we going? Mini adventure today, a little place called Smithy Fields Campsite, which is near Ashbourne in Derbyshire. Looking forward to it. Expert Sarah putting out of the ramps where we have this one on the near side slightly further forward and then we come round to this one here and we are not quite as far up this one boom Sarah's been hard at work cooking our dinner again so we've got some nice sausages, some yogurt cold slaw. It's not cold slaw. Cold, it's got no cold, D in it. Cold slaw. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't got no D. And some beans. So uh, looks good. Nice, easy cook dinner, really. Uh, and obviously, Ridge Monkey and T Falingenio pans, which I don't know whether we've talked about those before. I but think we, have, don't we, we probably should do at some point, but mm. I'm hungry, so that's not now. <laughs> So welcome to the absolutely awesome Smithy Fields campsite. Let's go inside and take a good look. As you can see here at the Smithy Fields site, there's a few caravans which are here all the time, permanents. Uh, we're obviously on a pitch called Dovedale uh, and we've got a neighbor and then as we go further down, there's some very special, small little touring and Volkswagen pitches, which I'll show you. So these couple of lovely little pitches here are what they class as their small camper van pitches. Uh, they've got hookup and uh, they're right next to the toilet blocks. And as you can see, you're opposite the main camping field where they have tents and motorhomes. We absolutely love this site. These shower blocks are absolutely incredible. So you've got little shower huts and in each one of these you've got uh, a toilet, sink and shower in one side and then a, the other side you've got a, a toilet as well uh, and a sink. Uh, and it's exactly the same in the other one and then uh, through past those hedges at the bottom there is the wash-up area. But you really do need to see inside one of these, they're absolutely incredible. So we think all campsite toilet facilities should look like this, just have a look. So we've got really nice big sink, obviously me video. We've got fantastic rustic style shower, just straightforward on off, nice warm water, no mucking about. Wooden deck board so you can dry your feet are pretty much dry by the time you're finished and a nice normal toilet in here as well. And I tell you what, there's two radiators in here and it's absolutely fantastically warm. Just through this hedge is the wash-up area. Uh, you've got chemical toilet disposal, you've got a couple of sinks, uh, obviously a bin and everything here. Uh, so nice and easy, covered to do your washing up as well. It's been a little while since we've last been to this site and since we were last here, they've installed these couple of amazing looking glamping units where you can just be self-contained, uh, contain yourself away from the elements. They've got chimneys on, so it looks like they've got uh, uh, some kind of log burner and things in there as well. But that is absolutely stunning. Uh, really nice and quiet, bottom of the site. It's a really small site, this one, but that's some of its charm. It's just nicely nestled away really nice and quiet.
So here's Whipsy hiding in the undergrowth. Our own lovely pitch. So obviously we've got hook up here, which is through a special little magic hole in the hedge, uh, which is lovely. I'm starting to think we're a little bit jinxed by the weather, to be honest, because it's be, raining again. It'd be, it'd be nice to have some <laughs> non-wet weather, but we'll make the most of it today. So we're going to go to Bakewell today uh, to have a bit of a look round. Um, probably have a... No, they don't call them Bakewell tarts, do they? They call There's them... puddings. Bakewell puddings, don't they? Yeah. I think the Bakewell tart does exist as well. Mm. We'll have to report back. We will. Well, that's given us a mission for the day. It has, it? yep. So uh, we'll go and do that. We'll report back later. This one on the floor here looks like she needs a bit of a walk, which is going to be interesting because it's going to be absolutely chucking it down today. I've brought a big coat with us today. But I think tomorrow morning, hopefully, we're going to be able to do the walk down to Dovedale, which we've done before and is absolutely fantastic. The weather's meant to be a bit better. So yeah. let's get off to Bakewell and let's get eat some pudding slash tart. Grab a coffee. 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 day <laughs> as you can tell from Will's attire <laughs> cold and wet although he's actually looking quite rosy today but I think that's actually the reflection from the heater behind us is there a heater? oh <laughs> doesn't feel like there's a heater <laughs> what do we have here in front of us then Will? iced bakewell tart ah. but on the menu there was also bakewell pudding oh so look at that I think in answer to the question I think you can have both. You can. Yeah. Right. And we've got a selection of cream custard. And custard as well. From the Ooh. original Bakewell pudding shop. It is still absolutely pouring with rain, so the table is covered. Although we're under probably the I've only bit. We've got the raw end of the deal here because I've got got it all sort of like you. Know, rivering towards me but, um, Sarah's, Sarah's being an old woman with the blanket on the knees Why what not? fantastic this is this is an October day out early October yeah. <laughs> brilliant so as a little bonus look they give you the recipe on the plate after you've finished it although that's for a pudding not a tart but even so you have to get through one of those yeah. to be able to see it absolute genius I hate to say it, Mr. Kipling, but it was substantially better than yours. good yeah wow that is yeah the, i'll do the big reveal for me too oh wow okay that Let's... is an advantage of this campsite isn't it the it is there is an incredible gastro pub just at the end of the driveway yeah. for it after our wonderful wonderful bakewell tart will decided to sneak into the shop and treat himself to something quite sticky, greasy maybe looking. So what is that? Ooh. That is a Bakewell pudding. Genuine article from the Genuine shop. Which is actually <laughs> a little bit um, sticky. <laughs> it looks so, it. I'm going to get some custard on and we'll see what this is like. Right, I'm pretty certain that nobody will have put this on YouTube before. This is Ambrosia Custard. <laughs> Cooking it in a ridge monkey. <laughs> so desperate is this man to have warm custard on his Bakewell pudding. <laughs> I'm, I'm convinced the ridge monkey is the 
the OG of cooking devices. I think this is going to result in some very burnt right. custard. Let's do this. Oh, turn that gas down. Yeah. <laughs> turn it down. It's going to burn. It's not going to burn. It's going to burn. It's just like cooking scrambled have, egg. You're going to have like a pancake of custard because it's no. going to weld itself. See, I, I'm convinced you have to give it a bit of a blast just to get it started. And then when you know the pan's starting to get a bit warm, you turn it right down. Is this this is the master chef tip, this is, is it? <laughs> <laughs> from, from this year's Master Chef winner, <laughs> how to heat up custard right. now, in a ridge monkey. I can see a little bit of little bit of steam. I'm so making smiley faces or something with it there. Uh, it looks like a bit like an emoji. Is that an eye with a with a yeah, there's a, oh there's a bit of a bit. mouth there look. Yeah, it's a bit of an emoji. <laughs> oh oh no right I don't know how long this is going to take but but you can see there's a bit of steam coming off that this is this is classic the only concern I've got is whether I washed it up properly last time because <laughs> the last time we used this we had sausages. No we didn't bacon. Oh bacon <laughs> I tell you what, we promote healthy living on our channel. We really do. Wow. <laughs> right. Veganism. So how do I test this then? Do I have to lick this? Uh, yeah, you could do. Oh, you're gonna want some of that. That is, that is epic. So yeah, that is that okay, is. How mostly... are you gonna pour it out of the square pan, Will? Out of the corner. Okay. Even easier than if it was round. Okay. Are we ready? I'm watching. Oh, look at that. Just... Just oh, you make it... Oh, bear with, oh, bear no. with. What's gone wrong? Nothing's Has something go gone wrong? No, nothing's gone wrong. Just cover it off at the corner, look. What are you going to do with the rest of the custard? Have another piece of this in a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you greedy pig. <laughs> right, quickly then. What do we think? Let's see. Bakewell pudding with no bottom. Oh, oh that's delicious. What's it, well, what's it taste of? Because I don't really know what's in a Bakewell pudding. It, almondy. Um, it, it tastes like um, kind of a really smooth frangipan. Mm -hmm. um, Definitely needs the, needs the bottom. So the next piece I've got, I've got I'm to try. I'm not entirely and sure how you're going to get that better. off being welded to the uh, the foil there. Look at that! Look, oh, it's just Steaming simmering away. Steaming custard. Better make sure it doesn't burn on the bottom. Oh yeah! Look, it's burnt on the bottom. No, it has not. <laughs> <There's> nothing <laughs> wrong with that. It's just getting a lovely skin. Uh, oh. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Custard getting reminders of school dinners of the eighties. All right. Can I enjoy this in peace now? Go on then. Well, we've started our walk to Dovedale, Milldale, Milldale, then Dovedale. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I've managed to snap the dog's lead. <laughs> so, we have no dog. So, ah! so the lead with no dog on the end. <laughs> <laughs> she went merrily trotting off into the so, distance. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're um, we're aborting, which basically means we've got to walk up a huge hill. Uh, it's absolutely. Enormous. So, uh, oh, hang on. oh, and the dog's the dog now just escaped disappeared off the non -lead. as well. Right. Okay. <laughs> Better go and find that then. <laughs> we had so much fun at Smithy Fields, even in the rain. Apart from the rain. And then we'll break in the dog's lead. That we actually spent so much time then going off to the pet shop to sort out Lucy a new lead. We forgot to record a video. So apologies. But if you like the video, please hit like, and we'll see you again soon.